What's going on, guys? We are on our ninth race weekend on the NASCAR circuit. And this weekend, we're in Alabama. That's right, at the Talladega Super Speedway. In 1969, Dega, as its nickname, was built. And until 1989, it was called the Alabama International Motor Speedway. Uh, it is a 2.6 mile trioval track. The turns one and two is 33 degrees. Turns three and four, 33 degrees. And the trioval is 16 and a half degrees. So this weekend, we have two races for you. The NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series has the week off. But for us, we're going to be covering the NASCAR Xfinity Series and the NASCAR Cup Series. Uh, ARCA is also having their race here this weekend, the General Tire 200, but we will not be covering that. But the GEICO 500 is Sunday, and it's 188 laps, and it's 500 miles here at Talladega. Now, the Xfinity Series will be racing on Saturday afternoon, and they're the Ag Pro 300, and that's 113 laps, 300 miles. Now, for the Xfinity race, back in the spring of last year, Jeb Burton won the Ag Pro 300 here at Talladega. And for the NASCAR Cup Series, the Rowdy Nation, Rowdy Bush, won the Geico 500. Now, can both of those guys repeat here? We'll see. Definitely Kyle Busch would love a win here in the NASCAR Cup Series. He is struggling so bad, but good for him for a win last weekend in Texas in the Truck Series. Also, in the fall, Ryan Blaney in a Ford won here at Talladega. Could the Fords finally win this weekend? Could they get it off the schneid? We'll see what happens. I'll give you my predictions later in this video. But I'm excited, and we have two sets of paint schemes here for you this weekend. The NASCAR Cup Series and the NASCAR Xfinity Series. Make sure you check them out. And in the comments below, make sure you tell me who your favorite uh, paint scheme is for this weekend. And make sure you tell me who you think is going to win this weekend. So that always is fun to interact with you guys in the comments below. So let's take a look at them. And when we come back, I'll give you my thoughts on my paint schemes that I like. I'll give you a recap of Texas from last week and my picks for this weekend. So let's check it out.
All right, so I hope you enjoyed those paint schemes like we I do every week. It's always good to see your reactions on who are your favorite paint schemes. But this week, these paint schemes are making me hungry. Uh, you got the Wendy's sponsor on SVG's uh, cup car, the 16 and the 97. Uh, you got Brownie on the 45 and the Xfinity. You got Thomas, Thomas English Muffins on... Ricky Spinhouse Jr. <laughs> uh, 47 car. You got Cheddars as a sponsor for Kyle Busch this weekend. So I'm getting hungry looking at these paint schemes. So I don't know what's going on with that. But here are my favorite uh, paint schemes. Which one are yours, is, by the way? Make sure you're leaving them in the comments below. But uh, I'm going to go with the 43 Sam Ellis Chevy. Uh... Four loco jungle juice Chevrolet. I'm going with the 43. Looks really good. I wanted to do the 97, uh, the all blue Wendy's there, but the 43 is outstanding what it looks like. So uh, the number one Tootsies in the Cup Series. You got to go with track house racing with these paint schemes. They are amazing what they do. And uh, the 99, it's got the Tootsies Orchid Lounge. Hey. Near where I live, got to go with the Tootsies. Looks really good. Reminds me of back home. So, And then I want to go with the 45 Tyler Reddick. Uh, the Jordan brand Toyota looks that white with the black trim. Looks very cool with the Jordan logo on it. I like that one as well. So, so let's talk about last week uh, at Texas. Uh, three great races, the Truck Series, Xfinity Series, and the Cup Race. On Friday night, it was the Truck Race. We covered that right here on our channel, and we all knew the, the winner was going to be Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch wins uh, at Texas in that truck, number seven. Uh, Corey Heim gave it everything he had to come catch Kyle Busch, but he finished second. The Xfinity race on Saturday afternoon, we covered that one as well. Sam Mayer and Ryan Sieg, one of the closest finishes I've ever seen. Maybe a two inches to the start-finish line. Ridiculous. Uh, if you didn't see it, I have a clip on our, our uh, TikToks and all that stuff, so make sure you check that out. But poor Justin Allgaier. Led the first two stages, looked dominant. Uh, but at the end, Sam Mayer. That number one Chevrolet wins. And of course, in the Cup Series, all you Chase fans are happy. Chase Elliott finally gets off the schneid and gets himself a win. So that is congratulations to Chase Elliott. Brad Keselowski now, second place finish. Doing really well. Two weeks in a row, two good finishes for Brad Keselowski. And then Kyle Larson. Man, oh man, felt sorry for him. Dominant had the pole, dominant in the first stage. Looked like he was going to run away with this. He was like almost three, four seconds ahead. And coming, what happened? He lost the tire after a pit stop. Tons of tons of issues at the pit stops uh, last race. So maybe we'll see what these teams can get it right here, especially at Talladega. You can't make any mistakes on pit road. And then Ross Chastain, he looked good as well, but just not enough. And then the big controversy at the end of the race with uh, uh, Chastain and William Byron uh, hitting uh, Byron hitting Chastain from behind and spinning out Chastain. Uh, lots of controversy about that too. So there is our recap from the Texas races. Now. Who are you going to pick to win? Make sure you leave that in the comment below as well. So you're leaving the comment on who your favorite paint scheme is and who you have to win this weekend. Let me see in the comments below who you have. So here is my picks. We'll start with the Xfinity race. Um, I want to pick Jesse Love again. I know I picked him last week to win. It was his first time at Texas. He had the pole but really struggled. He stayed in the top 10 all day. Uh, good for him. So maybe... I want to say Jesse Love so badly here, but I think Austin Hill, he looked great in Daytona, stole one in Daytona with the super speedway. So I'm going to go Austin Hill again, but Jesse Love is going to give it his all there, but uh, we'll see what happens. And then in the Cup Series, I think this is another weekend where another driver gets off the schneid. Brad Keselowski is going to win this thing. 
I just have a feeling RFK Racing, they finally do it for Ford. They get in victory lane and win here at Talladega. Brad Keselowski for the win. I know some of our friends are Brad Keselowski fans in the chat, so I'm hoping to cheer on with you, but uh, we'll see what happens. But it's going to be hard to stop the Toyotas. They look as, they're going to be look strong as well as they were at Daytona, so we'll see what happens. But I'm going Brad Keselowski. So, all right, so this weekend... We're going to have a great time. We're going to have on Saturday morning our NASCAR Cup qualifying. So remember, no practice this week. No practice. It's just going to go straight off the truck, off to the track, and go for a qualifying run. So no practice this week. So it's just going to be qualifying. And then later in that afternoon, we'll be doing the Xfinity race, uh, the Ag Pro 300. We'll bring that to you on the channel as well. And then on Sunday afternoon, we'll be bringing you the Geico 500 from Talladega Super Speedway. It's the first time I've ever done a, a Talladega Super Speedway race. Uh, I don't think I've, I, I've never, I've always been busy this weekend or I was uh, on fall break or something like that. So uh, I'm not getting a chance to do any Talladega races. So I'm excited to call this race and I hope you guys are excited about joining us as well. So I hope to see you guys and it's race weekend. It's Talladega. It's Dega. And I'm ready. So make sure you're hitting that like button on this video if you have not already. And if you're just finding this video and you have not subscribed to us, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well to join this NASCAR community, which is amazing. And uh, last week's stream was huge. The week before that was huge. And they're just getting bigger. So I'm hoping to join everybody in our chats this weekend as we watch these races together, listen to these races together. And our play-by-play -play and our reactions and all that good stuff should be fun. So hit the like button, subscribe to On The Go at CeeLo for all your NASCAR content. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed another paint scheme and race weekend preview right here on our channel. So until then, we'll see you in the streams. We'll see you at the track. It's Dega!